nothing quite like escaping with a cup of tea into your painting for a while, is there? And I think this little dog is a perfect little subject for this kind of a painting because he is just so happy in the moment. He is jogging along on this rather lovely, I'm imagining it's a beach track. I'm not sure if it is by the beach, but I think I've got a, a bit of a beachy feel coming on. So I'm going to put some palm tree suggestions in the background there. And one of the things I loved was this sunlight that's streaking across. So I am starting off with a lovely golden sunlight streaking from the top right down across behind the dog and that'll end up being a lot of the colour of the path. And I think where he's jogging along there's a fair amount of foliage and that's helping me um, really enjoy that sort of relaxed feeling of trotting along in the country air. And I think this is one of the things that uh, you can do when you're painting is you kind of lose yourself in the subject for a bit. So if you don't, if you're feeling a bit too lazy to actually go for a walk, you could just paint someone else going for a walk, couldn't you? Now in all seriousness, I do think painting is really very good for you. Well, I suppose only if you're actually that way inclined, but I think anybody who has a bit of a creative urge is definitely a happier person for actually following it. In my mind, painting and drawing is something like meditating. Maybe it's meditating for people who don't like meditating because it's an easy mindfulness practice. You kind of step out of your normal everyday life and you contend with the simpler problems like how to make grass actually look like grass and what colour you actually want to make your little dog. So it's quite easy to let the little things that might be worrying you disappear for a moment and it's my belief that when we do that our clever unconscious minds will actually solve a lot of those problems for us uh, and too much worrying actually doesn't address the problems as much as we think it does. And there are far more fun problems that you could be solving like how to make that little dog's tail stand out from the path. At the moment I've got it in a burnt sienna colour but I'm a little bit concerned he might get a bit lost into the background of that pathway. My little dog is the subject of the painting so I do want him to stand out but I have to say I do rather like the way that he is kind of blending into his background because I think that's definitely the feeling I got when I saw him. He is so uh, at one with his environment and he's doing that thing that animals do so well which is really just surrendering to the moment. It's kind of a lesson for all of us, isn't it? He's got such an earnest little face uh, and you can see he's just happy to be where he is right now. Just like I am because I'm painting and painting makes me happy. What about you? Does painting make you happy? And what are your favourite painting subjects? I'd love to know. So if you feel like sharing, why not tell me in the comments what you like to paint? While you're there, how about hitting that like button? If you like loose watercolour painting, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I create a new video like this every Wednesday. So if you click that notification bell, you'll find out when I publish the next one. Speaking of favourite things to paint, shadows have got to be one of my favourites and I've used a colour called Moon Glow by Daniel Smith which is a definite favourite in my palette to add the shadows beneath the little dog which really helps to place him on the ground and also to show that that paw is raised. And because I've put the Moon Glow in the shadow I also want to make sure that I add it into some of the background. Watercolour always dries a little bit lighter, so as your paint is drying, there's a chance that it may not be as dark as you thought it was going to be when you were putting it down. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you pump up that value contrast. Well, he's been an awful lot of fun to paint. I guess if you can't actually go for a walk, the next best thing is to paint someone going for a walk. Which one of those are you going to choose today? Either way, I hope you have a wonderful day.
Pinky Painting. Thanks for watching.